Pearl Jam, even flow the morning rumble, 8.15. Morning to you on a Tuesday. Joined in the studio this morning, Jack Jensen joins us. <laughs> I mean, finally, I've been trying to get you in, but lockdown keeps on happening and you had to give us a call. But here you are in the studio from Misfit Productions. Oh, Jack, hey, mate. good morning to you. Yeah, good morning, boys. Stoked to be here and finally make it. Finally make it. Now yeah. tell us, what is Misfit Productions? So Misfit Productions is a lifestyle brand that has um, content creation, which we chase all extreme sports around the countryside and the world, sending it. I'm also an extreme sports athlete across the board. So, so what um, do you do? What's your... Lo- well, see, I follow yeah. him on social yeah. media, right, Rog, yeah. and so um, I, on yeah. Instagram, and yeah. you lo- he yeah. looks like, uh, it's like... Jake can't work out whether he wants to... He's like half Tony Hawk yeah. and half <laughs> Levi Sherwood. Oh, I see, and, right. And, yeah, and yeah, a little yeah. bit of Kelly Slater thrown uh, in there. Yeah. Like, yeah. You, like, you seem to... You and the guys and girls all yeah. seem to do every type of discipline there is. Yeah, yeah, bro. So, like, free ride moto... Free ride mountain bike, wow. um, snowboarding, skating, chase a lot of surf, hunting, anything outdoor and adventure awesome. that gets yeah. the blood pumping, eh? That's what we're into. And how long's the uh, Misfit Productions been around? Like, uh, how many of there are you? Yeah. Like, and it, just in the Hawke's Bay, or is it, is it spreading? It's oh, is it spreading it's like Miles' gastro. <laughs> Don't touch anything, Jack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, yeah. really switched us up, mate. Yeah, no, yeah. make sure I'll keep the hands yeah. off, please. Yeah, man, I hope you've sanitised, too. <laughs> he's an absolute dog, as Mouse, for doing yeah. what he's done to us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, nah, so there's... um. <laughs> There's probably 15 to 20 in the tight crew yeah. um, that's come through as we're grommets and then just growing up and then, you know, starting the brand and, and that's the crew. And, yeah. you know, growing to know more boys that's come real close and extremely just awesome people. Um, but, yeah, now it's spreading all around the countryside. There's like little and music festivals and stuff happening as well. Like, yeah. are you guys starting to try and put oh, those on as mean, well? Yeah, yeah, yeah bro, right, definitely right, want right. to throw the first Misfit Music Festival oh, in the next, wow. like, 12 months, eh, yeah. on the home farm and got yeah. a lot of plans. So. Busy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then so there's the clothing line as well. So yeah. it's content creation, uh, merch, which is selling all around New Zealand and now uh, Australasia and the world, and um, events. So, yeah, no, it's just all about bringing the froth to life. I mean, yes, and then spark that chat. Now, Mm. um, this is why you're here, really, because, I mean, I know know Bryce originally Mm. um, said, hey, we need to get Jack in, because you lost a good mate, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, we lost uh, lost a mate um, three and a half, four months ago, November. Um, Yeah, 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 it was, it sucks. Rito was his name. Yeah. And Mm. that's how I first came to know about you because heaps of people sent me the video where you'd done this really Mm. vulnerable, really raw um, piece on your uh, your guys' page when it was right in the midst of it when you just lost him. And so Mm. Rito, uh, you can tell me if I'm wrong, 21. Was he 21 at the time? Took his life. Even just today we were talking to a guy, right, um, Matt Finn, who's doing this run around the Auckland domain. He's running till Sunday. He's running 654 <laughs> kilometres, and each kilometre represents a Kiwi who took their life last year. Yeah. 654. That's and astounding. we put that into perspective, right? Yeah. I was at Jim Beam Homegrown on the weekend, which was, which was rad. But mm. if you think about that was on Saturday, it's only Tuesday. We're working out, that's, that means since then, six to eight Kiwis, statistically, have probably taken their life. Yeah. Since Saturday. Since and Saturday. It's, and it's oh, only Tuesday. Yeah, it's crook. It's, and it's happening. And that's, you know, like why I'm doing what I'm doing. It's like there's too many good fellas out there that are taking their life. And it's like it's, you know, I've talked about those, giving them the tools to be able to cope and like, you know, teaching those ways because, they you know, there's everything that's going on in life nowadays. It can really cloud things. Mm. So mm. it's really clearing things up and being like, hey, boys, it's all good to feel this way. Take it on the chin. This is how you this is how you can deal with it. And um, move forward and, like, you know, talk and, and look for help, you know. And sadly, is it a case as well that sadly, you know, Rito passed away and I know Bryce gets a lot of messages as well and the show does, that once something like that happens, you realise how common it is. You just hear more and more and more about it. Yeah, yeah, fully, bro. And it's, um, you could, you know, pretty much every bloke you can talk to, they can experience through, you know, they've lost someone or lost a close mate or, or a family member. Yep. Or, a, or a bro of some sort, you know, it's like, it's just way yeah. too common. Or on the flip side of that, if they do lose someone or have someone they work with, they have absolutely no idea that those people were battling. Yeah. yeah. It, it's not the quiet, yeah. necess- it's not no. necessarily the quiet, moody one in the corner. Yeah. No. It can be the one with, you know, to use your language, with the most froth. Yeah. yeah. No, with yeah. the Fully. most And, yeah. the, and that's it, like the, the mask on the front of this... Um, on the front of this oh, design yeah, yeah, is, yeah, you know, yeah. the mask that's covering the black dog, they're the black dog. Yeah. 
that's what they're feeling. They're feeling down and depressed, but they put this mask up that you just cannot yeah. read. Yeah. You cannot, you know, it's, Rita was life of the party. Yeah, well. He was the man. He was such a good bloke and like always the first to ask if you're all good. And that's the sort of stuff you've got to now look out for in people. You guys are doing great stuff, and if you stick around, yeah. um, we, we're going to talk about exactly um, what you guys have come up with in a way to help celebrate Rito, but also um, try and raise some money for a really good cause as well. Exactly. Stay there. Jack Jensen from Misfit Productions. Back after this. Gold on the ceiling. It is the Morning Rumble. We're back with Jack Jensen from Misfit Productions, yep. and we're talking Spark yep. That Chat. We're talking mental health. Thanks for coming in, Jack. Bryce, you put it up on Morning Rumble Instagram, haven't you? Misfit Correct. Productions. Uh, it's MSFT. Uh, you're doing some great stuff for mental health. Sadly, your, your mate Rito took his life uh, November of last year. And uh, you put up all this merchandise, haven't you, Jack? Yeah, bro. Yep. So yep. how can we get some of that? So um, you can go on to msftproductions.net and then there's um, its own category, Spark That Chat, and it's got the whole like the whole write-up of why we're doing it. Yeah. Um, a bit of insight of, like, you know, our background and – and with Rito and, um, yeah, the whole range is, is there. So if you've just joined us, Jack, um, great lad from Hawke's Bay, got a big crew um, and, and into everything, you know, whether, whether it's on the bikes, yeah. whether it's um, motorbikes, whether yeah. it's mountain bikes, whether it's surfing, mm. skating, m even mm. little music fests, everything that's going on. Um, a, a real good crew there. And your mate, Rito, yes, was 21 mm. and real sadly took his life in November. And, um, I know that leaves a massive hole. There'd be a lot of uh, people listening who um, have lost friends, you know, might have been on the weekend, might have been last week, yeah, might have been exactly. 22 years ago. The, the pain never yeah. really leaves you. So I'm sure there's um, a lot of people that this stuff resonates with. Um, but you guys have got together and you've made this range of merch. You've got, you're wearing one of the shirts yeah. now. Yeah. There's hoodies. Um, they're really cool. They all sort of celebrate Rito's life. And if you go actually to the Morning Rumble Instagram and you go on our story, um, I've got a link there that you can swipe up. That'll, that'll take you straight to your guys' site where you can order it. The dope styles, mm. right? But the money or the proceeds are going where? Yeah, 100% profits are going to the Mental Health Foundation of New Zealand. And yeah. so that's obviously, you know, to try and help more people so mm. we can either try and yeah, not have right. this happen or, yeah. or help people yeah, um, across when the it has border. happened. Yeah, exactly. Like where they, you know, like selecting the Mental Health Foundation, they gave me a real good insight of where it's going and it's like, you know, it's post, it's the people that's going through it, it like subdivides all funds that like it costs to get involved or need help. Mm. So, yeah, it's it's epic. Now, um, the boss knew you were coming in, and he um, incredibly has given us, uh, it never happens, Jack, his credit card. So <laughs> yeah. uh, we're going to buy uh, a couple. We're going to buy a hoodie and a shirt. There oh, you go. Yes. We're so going to buy it and give it away. Oh, oh. wicked. So well, I, might, I, might, I might keep the hoodie. <laughs> 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 no, I'm going to give it away. <laughs> of, course, of, course, of course we're going to give it away. <laughs> so we're going to give it away. So a hoodie and a shirt. Oh, I'd have to rock phone. Uh, we'll... It'll take a little while to get, but uh, we need to get your sizes, all that sort of thing. Yeah, but you give yeah. us a call, and, and that can be all yours. Um, yeah, awesome. But, um, mate, great work that you and the team are doing. I know it's, uh, you've poured yourself into it, which, um, but what a great legacy for, for your boy, bro, for you guys to um, gather around and, and do this. It's, it's really cool to see. Cheers, bro. Great uh, stuff. Um, so, yeah, follow, you can follow their page. Yep. They post a lot of good content. Um, you can see mm. uh, their handle as well. That's on the Morning Rumble Instagram. Um, and you're going to be on the project tonight as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, bro. So really excited for that. 7 p.m. Tune in. It'll be froth spread and uh, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> chat but sparked. Mel, or she's Mel's also into motocross. Yeah, but Jack. nothing crazy. Yeah. What Jack's up to? <laughs> yeah. I just usually hang on the back, <laughs> crash into a few trees well, and stuff. So, so does Jack. He's broken <laughs> yeah. 14 He's bones. He's a bit more yeah. in control of it though. Yeah, yeah. Try, try the in, in control. Mate, you, control. You keep going this sort of way, and, and you'll be on Dancing with the Stars. Like <laughs> oh, <right>. yeah. <laughs> Roger can give you some tips. Oh, yes, I'll be coming to you, Roger, with some tips, bro. He'll show you the moves. <laughs> nice to meet you, bro. Hey, thanks, mate. Awesome. Thanks Good so work. much. Cheers, team. Thanks, Jack. Here's news and sport.